skills just checking in with you real quick um, I just set up a phone stand if you will so that I can position you a little better so I'm not using my webcam on my computer all the time so that we can interact with more places in my house than just my office so I'm gonna take you out in the garage and I'm going to show you uh, how to disassemble a uh, hard drive and then after I'm done showing you how to disassemble hard drive I'm going to show you a couple of things I plan on using um, the neodymium, <laughs> neodymium magnets uh, for um, one of which is going to hold my tools in place and uh, it's going to involve a glue gun and all that fun stuff so stay tuned you guys listening in there. My boss was nice enough uh, to give me this uh, little cell phone holder that has the little suction cups and whatnot. The suction cup wasn't working so well anymore, so that's why she gave it to me. But I figured it'd make a great little mini tripod and cell phone holder, camera holder thingy so that uh, I can put it in place and I can kind of set it aside and I can angle it all over the place so you guys get the perfect shot. So to make it stick uh, to the platform basically what I did was I put some um, put some Gorilla Glue all around the cups edges there uh, made sure that it was good and um, good and secure and uh, I'm giving it some time to actually sit and dry so that it'll stay in place so when I put the cell phone in it's not going to go anywhere and it'll be perfectly balanced and I can use it pretty much anywhere I need to so Anyway, a little DIY MacGyver style camera holder thingy action going on there. All right, guys. So here we have our hard drive. And it's an older hard drive. I took the liberty of finding all the hidden screws and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. The first thing I'm going to want to take off is the logic board because uh, scrapyards do take these. It's a high quality board and they do pay at a premium per pound for these. So uh, that's what I'm going to start with here. And there we go. And just like that, the logic board's off. Pretty straightforward. Um, being that it is a high quality board, there's also gold pins. I don't know if you can see that, but there's gold pins. Uh, that you can retreat gold from, but uh, I just find it easier to uh, bring these to the scrapyard and they pay by the pound and it's uh, a quick payday. So anyway, let's continue. So we got that off and now we're going to um, take the top cover off. Beautiful. Boop. Viola. Oh, that's weird. Part of the neodymium magnet there is on top of the piece here. So there's a couple of things in here. Uh, this this pin here, this data pin, is uh, has some gold bearing components on it. Uh, it's got some aluminum. It's got some copper. So a lot of people tend to, you know, keep that. So this here is the reader pin. And this is one half of the uh, neodymium magnets that uh, I'm going to use to basically uh, keep my tools magnetized. And it's a really, really good magnet. And you 
can stick multiple things to it, which is really cool. But this is the crown jewel that I was looking for right here. So that's as far as I'm going to go as far as taking this particular um, hard drive apart. Uh, it looks like there's some specialized tools that will need to be uh, used to get that platter out. That's not really a common uh, top piece that you would have to take off. Uh, so I'm going to stop there. But really, truly, the uh, crown jewel was the neodymium magnets. And I, unfortunately, I'm not going to glue it to my desk, which is what I was originally going to do because the glue gun crapped out on me. So... Uh, that, unfortunately, is not going to happen. But uh, just to show you, there's a few, here's a few others that I have. Oh, see what I mean? These are powerful magnets. But uh, I got these from other hard drives as well. Um, very, very powerful. And if you stick them to stuff, you can magnetize, you know, your... Uh, you can, you can magnetize all sorts of stuff. You can magnetize your screwdrivers, whatever you want to magnetize. Uh, make life a lot easier for you. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you how to do this. And here it is. And I hope that it was educational. Hold it. Don't go anywhere. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, if you don't mind, it would greatly help my channel. And I'd really love to continue giving content to you such as this. Please let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. Have a great day.